Everyone, welcome back to Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics. Today we have a 2003 Infiniti i35. Uh, pretty fun car. Uh, here for a tune-up. So I did spark plugs, valve cover gaskets, um, some hoses, and cleaned the throttle body. And now it's idling a little high. Took it for a few test drives. And this code popped up, the P0507 ISC system, basically meaning the idle is too high. We're right around a little less than a thousand RPM. So if we look at our RPMs in the data stream, engine speed, about almost 900 RPM. That's that's a little high for this V6. Um, let's also look at the throttle position. Throttle position sensor. Let's look at those. About 0.6 volts on both of those. And what's the percent? Let's see, close throttle position. Look at the mass airflow. Okay. About five grams per second right now. It should be about three and a half. And it says idle AV learn complete. So let's um, go to special functions and try to do an idle learn on this vehicle. Just want to see what's in this menu here. So that's actuation tests. Doesn't have anything useful in the DTCs. Work support. Idle air volume learn. So let's go for this one. Okay, let's do that. Start. You see the idle is dropping. Doing its thing. By the way, this Think Tool Pros, I'm really liking the scanner. Really nice screen, and so far, I've used it on at least a dozen vehicles, and it it works great. It's very fast, and there haven't been any holes or glitches. So, very pleased with with the scanner so far. Let's see if it'll get through this uh, idle learn procedure. definitely brought the idle down so it did something <laughs> let's see if it'll finish on its own all right so that took about two minutes it says completed our idle is a nice steady you know 650 rpm now so now let's go back to data stream and look at those same signals it's the engine speed I wish it kept the same list here throttle sensor 1 and 2 and we want the mass airflow Ok, 
Okay, we're back down to about three and a half grams per second. That's great. 675 RPM, rock steady. Now we're about 0 0.5 volts instead of 0 0.6 on the throttle position sensor. That's awesome. Let's go back and clear that code. Okay, no more check engine light. Shut it off. I'm going to go to sleep. A little flare up. It should come right back down to its happy spot. So I definitely dropped the idle at least 200 RPM. There we go. Make sure we have no more fault codes stored. No DTCs detected. So this is a Nissan thing where you have to back out. Come back in. Yep, now we can read the um, There we go, about 700 RPM. Good deal. That's it. Quick and easy, but you have to have <clears throat> the right tools to do these kinds of procedures. There might be a manual way where you do the whole magic, you know, press the gas and turn the key on and off and get it into its learn mode but you know if you're, if you're doing this for a living obviously you're going to do it with a scanner and the Think Tool uh, Pro S amazing it went right through it no issues no glitches and this car is ready to return to the customer so thanks a lot for watching we'll see you next time bye bye